Hey everybody, Matt here. Just wanted to do a quick video showing you uh, my uh, chestnut tree project for 2015. Right here in front of you, you have uh, some buck fours from Auburn University. These were grown from nuts. These aren't grafted trees, but the nuts were taking are taken from uh, AU buck four trees um, that were grown at the wildlife group. So uh, they could be crosses. Uh, between some of the other AU varieties that they have. They have some buck threes, buck twos. They're pretty close by. Um, but my hope is is that um, they retain the late drop times um, of the buck fours and will drop into November, hopefully. So I'll get these in the ground this year, and hopefully in five or six, seven years, I'll know whether or not they drop late. As you can see, they're nice, good-looking trees. Uh, that's about a 24 inch tree right there looking real good real excited about them i think i'm going to uh maybe plant a few at my house here so maybe i can harvest some nuts later on uh, this front row is all buck fours have about 17 trees of those the ones you see in the back here these are some of my dunstons that I don't know if you saw a previous video, uh, I let them dry out. I went one day without watering during the middle of the summer <clears throat> in July, and uh, this is the result. Brown leaves, most of them have bounced back though. Uh, I've watered them vigorously. Um, so, it looks like they're all going to bounce back, they just got stunted a little bit. This right here good example of a Dunstan that did not get set back look how tall that thing is uh, at least I wish I had a tape measure at least three feet that's a one-year-old Dunstan chestnut amazing growth out of these root makers right now I have them in uh, I started them in root maker 18s and then I moved them to one gallon root pouches that one was moved about July. Here's another view of some of the Dunstans. Again, they look pretty bad, but they are bouncing back. Here's a few Chinese right here. As you can see, I got most of them labeled. That's one thing I do recommend if you grow a lot of chestnuts or any trees, anything really, be sure and label them so that you know what they are. You'll think you can remember but you won't be able to if you're growing this many. Uh, here's some, uh, get my finger out of the way. Here's an alligator chickapin right here. I've got several of those right in here. As you can see, they're a little bit smaller. That's one of the bigger ones. These are all one year old trees. Here's some Americans that I grew this year. They too got a little toasted during the summer failed to water them one day and that's what happens here's an example of uh, of a good looking American that made it that's about a two foot tall tree here's some of my wildlife hybrids that I grew from Empire Chestnut that's about a foot and a half tree right there it's a good looking tree there's a taller one back there Again, it's got a little bit of heat issue with it too. That just goes with the territory of growing them here in uh, Texas. And they're in, when they're in pots like this, they dry out real quick. So you get them in the ground, get them established. You will have to water them uh, at least for the first year after planting. These right here are some of my two-year-old Dunstan trees. All of these are Dunstan. As you can see, I got one here that's grown real tall it's almost six feet to the tip still putting on the leaves here it is first September of course our growing season is a little bit longer here in Texas these are just some good looking trees here I treated all these they kind of got a little pale leaves and uh, I was advised it may be an iron issue uh, with the mix that I've been using so I treated them with some miracle Grow um, orchid um, it's made for acid-loving plants. 
that seems to have greened them up, they're bouncing back nicely. I've got about 30 of these Dunstans right here that are gonna go on the ground this year. I may get a wild hair and move five or six of them to five gallon pots and grow for another year, but I don't know, I haven't decided yet. So there you have it guys. Chestnuts galore. My back's gonna be hurting if I get all these planted this year. Take care.